Hello everyone, today I'm back here with a new tutorial and uh, it's been a while since I uh, since I have done um, a tutorial about something on my YouTube page so today I'm here to, um, to show you how to make some cool effects and um, like I'll be using Silent which is uh, like my main synth I uh, basically use Silent for pretty much everything in my tracks so I'm really like familiar with that. I'm really used to to silence. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial. So today we're going to do like um, a riser that like it's a riser, but at the end we have some effects that you're gonna like it. So let's go. So first of all, we're going to make a saw synth, like um, pretty much like a super saw or like this oh holy shit just a second okay it's better now so yeah it's a pretty simple like um, synth uh, we are going to put it on the channel on the mixer and uh, we're going to open a equalizer so we cut the low end like this and you can add like pretty much any effect you want. You can add a flanger to add like a different kind of um, of like a style to your synth. But um, I'm going to do it like pretty simple. So it's going to be on a, um, a reverb and uh, maybe a sound goodizer just to like really fatten the sound like this. You can add some stereo um, imaging to it too. So you just now you draw like a full bar of it, and uh, you put some release and uh, some attack as well, like this. And now it comes the interesting part. You're going to put a pitch oscillator, but you're going to live like you're going to put it on one eighth or 116 uh, like you choose it and uh, the gain is going to be zero right so like it's going to be like this okay it's going to be a very nice effect uh, then you put like you draw like this uh, you do the automation for those who don't know like uh, FL Studio don't support like uh, right clicking and uh, selecting the the create automation clip um, like option on for example silent and uh, Nexus and massive and other sense so you can like you tweak the knob or fader or whatever you want to automate and you go to tools and less wicked and there you go to create automation clip and uh, it's going to create an automation clip. So you come here, and uh, you are going to create an automation of the gain and an automation of the rate as well. And uh, blah blah blah. You're going to auto. I I like to automate the dry, and the reverb, and maybe the decay as well. Okay. So yeah. Um. I want to start the effect like in this bar here, so we put like three percent or something, and then goes to five, and uh, we copy the value and do like this, and we go right in like just eight or whatever. And the dry, where you're going to start to make it fade away, fade out, and the reverb is going to start to rise like this okay so by the end it should sound like this
So yeah, it's a pretty cool um, like sound. So you can um, like change the dry option so it gets more. And uh, like play with the yellow for one gain and the rate so you can get different sounds. And uh, you can also like um, work with uh, square uh, waves and uh, like sine waves and uh, put uh, some white noise as well and uh, do some filtering like this. And uh, like you can work with chorus and um, do different stuff on the synth, so um, you can like add your own uh, style to it. So it's a very simple um, stuff, and um, I'll be I'll try to do more tutorials. And uh, I'm not really into remakes right now because uh, I already have like lots of like original remixes to do. So. I'm going to try to do like this quick tutorials for you guys just to like um, help people to learn new stuff and uh, I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and um, see you next time.